We're doing my favourite thing, which is hitting two countries against each other. Out of all the comparisons we've done before, mm -hmm. Irish whiskey beat the bourbon and the scotch for me. But when I did Japanese whiskey, I really, really liked it. And I have, I was interested in finding out which I'd prefer, Irish yeah. or Japanese. I love whiskey. And I love Japanese whiskey and I love Irish whiskey. So this is like, best. Yeah, I've, I've tried whiskey once or twice and I quite enjoy it. Okay, each country has the whiskeys it's famous for. Yeah. But each country does produce or bottle and release various styles of whiskey. So I don't think it's going to be necessarily a cut and dry. This one's mm -hmm. Irish, this one's Japanese. They could surprise us. Okay, so one of these is Irish, one of these is Japanese. Yep. And we have to tell you which we prefer. Right, uh, I'm, got, I'm, I'm not going straight in, I'm smelling it. Oh, I'm right. gonna, I gotta shove my nose into this like I always do. Very similar smells. X is smellier, like stronger. X, is, X does smell stronger, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Un, deux, trois. Ooh, 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 ah. If that's not Irish whiskey, I don't know what is. Yeah. If that's Japanese, I'm walking out. I'm not finishing this shoot. There's almost like a bitterness to it. Yeah, it tastes, kind of, it tastes like slightly cheap. Yeah, it's got it's a nice very, taste. It's very smoky, isn't yeah. it? I wouldn't say mm, smoky. Smoky? I get what you're saying, but I don't think that's smoke. Is that like peat? Is that like peat? It's like wood? It's like it's peaty smoke. It's like a turf fire. Okay. Oh. Oh. Bottoms ope. That's weird. <laughs> I think O is coming off as more Irish. And it feels like it's been triple distilled. <laughs> but much milder. Much so milder. Much milder. Yeah. Nice flavour though. It's fine. Yeah. But it's not, X has to be large and X has way more notes of flavour in it. It does. As, as soon something... as this is, like, as soon as you swallow this, you get this like burst of honey in your mouth. I think I prefer O. Oh, yeah. Um, On the count of three, say which one we prefer. One, two, two three, three, X. O. Winner is X. X. Has to be Irish, has to be. So guys, I can reveal that the X is Mika from the Barrel Japanese Whiskey. Fuck off. Shut up! And the O was Tullamore Dew Irish. Oh, yeah, Tullamore Dew, okay. Tullamore Dew, wow. I fucking love Tullamore Dew. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, oh, we're, we're gonna be, we're gonna be shipped off. What? Was there a distinct difference between the two? Yeah. Like, this one did come off as both stronger and heavier, let's say. And Tully, like, T Tully's too drinkable. I'm gonna see how we go. I wasn't mad about either of them. I'm surprised the Japanese one was amazing. Well, not, I, I knew it would be tasty, but you said they were gonna be weaker and I like a stronger one, and that was stronger. Tullamore's the best for hot whiskies. Mm. And you cannot tell me otherwise, it is the best for hot whiskies. <laughs> Two very different colors. Oh yeah, these are definitely two different whiskeys. <laughs> definitely, I would put money on it. Definitely. I'd be very surprised if they weren't. Okay, now smell it first. Well, we just Probably did. Japanese. Okay, we'll go with the X first, don't we? Yeah, yeah, as All right. usual. Cheers. Cheers, man. My feeling is that's the Japanese one as well. That's nice, it's not too strong. Very palatable. Super mild. Yeah. Not a huge amount of flavor there either. That's too easy to drink now. I feel like that's definitely not as strong a spirit as the last two shots we had. I have a feeling like this isn't a very fancy Japanese whiskey. It tastes, it tastes a little bit quite young. And from the color and then like that flavor of it, I'm like, okay, maybe it's kind of on the younger side. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's a cheap bottle. I don't think it might possibly be repressed. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. Could be wrong. Well, it's, it's actually, it's. In fairness, although it's one of my favorite whiskeys, it's been ages since I've had it. It's like fire, um, but it's not too strong though. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think anymore. <laughs> I've lost my capacity for whiskey. It's so hard when you're trying them all in such quick succession. Mm. So oh. you both prefer O. Both, both prefer O. I, think, I, don't, I don't think we're gonna disagree on this one. Uh, uh, yeah. I think it's yeah. the O. It's the O, it's it, the ha o. it has to be the O. Yeah. I think I prefer X, it's smoother. I'm gonna go with O, I prefer O. I can tell you that the X, is the Kurayoshi Pure Malt yes. Japanese Whiskey, and the O is Jameson Black Barrel. Black Barrel. Ah, oh, Black Barrel. Yeah. Black Barrel's awesome. actually not a bad, Black not a bad whiskey. See, so, it's it's like, like, because I wasn't a whiskey drinker at all before doing these try shoots, I always feel like I'm unbiased. You know, like I can't be biased towards Irish whiskey because yeah. I never really had Irish whiskey. Yeah. But how is it 
that I keep choosing Irish whiskey. <laughs> it, it really depends how you're feeling in the moment. But it's like, it goes to show how much context matters because you're tasting something and you're like, fuck it, oh, oh, that's too strong. And it's like, oh, this is actually the greatest whiskey ever made. And if you were served that in the bar and were told it was the greatest whiskey yeah, ever you'd be made, like, like, oh, this is amazing. Oh, oh so my true. God, oh my God. Yeah. So guys, round three. Ding, 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 ding. Fight. Just smells like whiskey to me. Just smells like whiskey. I'm getting notes of whiskey. Yeah, there's something weird going on there. Yeah. And I smell that like in whiskey's done in like fortified wine casks and sometimes have that flavor profile or that aroma. I feel like this would be a better segment if it was just you uh, <laughs> going through this. Like, I feel like I'm just dragging it down. No, no, uh, we, need, we need the layman for comparison. Um, the layman and the lame man. Here we go. Cheers. Oh, that's not good. What is going on there? Ooh, there's a bit of fire to that one. That's Surprisingly. Nice. Okay, that's very nice. And I like it. It's very nice. It's very strong. It's very nice. It doesn't come off as harsh, though. Like, the flavor of it, and it's a uh, little bit more heat to it. But it's not burning, it's I not. I don't know what that, there's something there that I yeah. don't like, and I don't know what it is. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, it tastes quite nice. Yeah. But not peaty. All flavor, no burn. It's a lot of fumes though. Really? You're getting yeah, fumes? I'm, I'm getting fumes. Oh, it was quite sharp. Oh, will tickle you as she goes down. Yeah, yeah. Tickle you strongly. Again, I prefer O. Oh. I also would say I prefer O. Nice. I really like this. Mm. Is like, is this the hardest choice? This is the hardest yeah. choice. It's like, which child do you choose to die? <laughs> <laughs> you could have gone for any scenario. It's very <laughs> biblical, Paddy. Straight mm. to it. Gonna have to go with the X. I'd enjoy them both. I'll go for the O. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, conflict. I'm going for X. Yeah. I'm, I'm like... locking it in. <clears throat> I agree as well. I can tell you that X is Togauchi Japanese blended whiskey oh. and O is Redbreast 12 Irish Ah, whiskey. yeah, okay. That was yeah. really nice. Yeah. They that were both gorgeous. So delicious and drinkable, but this one just snaked it for me. O is Redbreast 12? Yeah. Are you fucking shitting me? No. Oh my, I don't know anything anymore. Do you want to try to get that? You know what it is? You've made That's a fool delicious. Of me. <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself in this moment, how are you? Oh, I am absolutely... I'm going to hang my head in shame. Yeah. I won't show Let's my face. Let's do it. Yeah. We have two whiskies. I'm guessing one is Irish and one is Japanese. That is true. Okay. <laughs> I want to erase the records. I want to struck from existence. Yeah, me too. We... This is like, what's the most shameful thing of you on the internet? You know, oh. it's not an explicit video. It's this video of me not recognizing Redbreast 12 here when I have it. Based on everything we've gone by, the previous O's, the fact that the Japanese ones have typically been lighter in color. Yeah. X is probably the Irish. Maybe switch it, but we have been talking about them switching it a yeah. lot, so. Oh, wow, that, O, O doesn't smell like a whiskey. No. This, one, the X smells very peaty. X. X. We'll give it a sniff. I smell, I've smelled this before. Oh. In the previous round? Oh, yeah. That would be a good move. In previous, uh... <laughs> uh, in a pre I think in a previous video. Okay, that's kind of peaty paste. And it's quite... It's fucking tealing. That's one of the older tealings. Is it? Right? 24, 30, potentially. Oh, that's nice. Mm. It's just full of flavor. Yeah. I've never tried a whiskey like that. Now, that's a, that's a new flavor for me. Yeah. Okay, so we're thinking this is Japanese. It's a bit lighter. Yeah. That is also really good. It's good. That gets up your nostrils, doesn't it? I prefer that. I don't know. It's sharp again. No, that's not as nice. That's definitely nicer. Do you want to know how good X was? I can still taste it even though I was drinking that one. Yeah. It's good. It yeah, is it's, it's tasty. tasty. It's really good. It's tasty. It's mild. Um, honestly, I don't know if it's this one still affects me, but mm -hmm. I'm getting still a bit of a burn here. Like it's still yeah, there. Yeah, a little bit like. I think I'm going to go, oh. This time around. I, I don't think I've picked one Irish whiskey. Mm. Yeah, that's a bit worrying, Just isn't scandalous it? Scandalous carry on. I'm gonna go for X and not to be contrary, but I genuinely prefer X. So which do you prefer? X. X. So are you both choosing X? Yes. Yes. We're locking it in. Final answer. So guys, I can tell you that X is teeling 24 year old single malt whiskey. 
and O is Nika Discovery Yoichi non peated single malt Japanese whiskey. Mm. Teeling is another one that I've tried. That one is about 600 and something about. I've tried this before. Shit! I've tried this before. Tough. It is good, like. Yeah. But all of them have been good. The issue was not whether something was good or not. The issue was just picking stuff. Retails for 670 euro. Mm -hmm. and the Japanese whiskey retails for 255 euro. And in fairness, the Teeling 24, when it originally came out, it was maybe like 350 euro. So it's only gone up since. Oh, it's like Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but it uh, actually has a use. NFT, non-fungible tea leaves. So guys, you've tried uh, four rounds of Irish versus Japanese whiskey. Uh, what do you think overall? I'm just in a happy place. I think I'm a little drunk. Me too. Yeah. There wasn't any losers. Basically, they're all winners. All winners. All winners. <laughs> Japan, you make some good whiskey. I'd say it could be 50-50, you know? Yeah, I, I, it's very tough. It's very subjective. It depends on what the trier likes. All of those Japanese whiskeys I'd never had before. And it was fun to try them. Probably didn't do them any favors putting them up against the likes of Red Breast 12 and yeah, Teeling 24 yeah. and all that, but. Was a fair fight. Yeah, I, I feel like even if I try them on their own, I would appreciate them for what they are. Like yourself, I do feel ashamed of myself. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go off into the whiskey forest and commune with the whiskey spirits. Yeah. Because I've obviously lost the way. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching us get absolutely uh, sloshed while drinking uh, lots of whiskey. Lots uh, and lots of whiskey. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, buy some merch and, and hit the bell. Come back next time.